Yeah, welcome, anal plugs, to the fuck you phone. Welcome to Skillet Cast episode three. Because one time I had a fuck up. Three. Oh, nice. One time I tried filming one, and we liked like autistic shits. So it's only just two people today, and I'm right beside one, so I don't gotta do any editing. Ooh, lucky me, motherfucker. So I'm here with Trent. Oh, hey, what's up? And I sound really dumb. I sound like Nick Ringley dumb. We'll talk about who that dumbass is later. But for now, uh, I, since I'm a dumbass iFunny user, yes, yes, you can all hate me, and you can go subscribe to me if you want to tickle your titties to my ass cheeks. Uh, uh, yes. I just asked people questions. I was like, hey, ask me some questions. I only got four, because no one likes me, and I don't care if you do or don't. You can jack off either way. But the first question we got is, have you ever, have you won any awards or sweet prizes for anything? Um, I once made a bear for a fucking Halloween thing. It was so fantastic. It was like the Mr. Bear Pirate or whatever the fuck it was when we were dumbass kids in my school. Oh. And uh, I made a bear. And I, I made him like, we gave him like a fucking like wooden peg leg and we just like a pirate and shit and he clearly won. And I was up on stage, I was like losing my fucking mind. I was dancing and shit. Wait, what was this? It was like back in a kindergarten. Like, fucking, so, like, was it, like, a thing with, like, the teacher or something, like, it's like, oh, you kids, you, you make a costume and be cool. Make a costume for your bear and you can win a candy corn crown, and I'm like, Wait, you win a fucking candy corn crown? That was seriously the prize. Yes. <laughs> I, they put on my fucking bear, and I'm just sitting there, like, being the most half-ass happy kid in the world, because my bear got a fucking candy corn crown, and everyone knew me as candy corn crown kid. Like, hey, didn't you win the candy corn crown? Like, yeah, I did, bitch. Respect. Dude, this sounds really fucking gay. It actually but... was. Oh, uh, oh, no, with me or you? No, that fucking candy corn crown. Like, seriously, that's <laughs> what you're fucking competing for? I don't fucking know. I'm not my school. No, that's stupid. Like, don't fucking... but it's probably better than anything I've ever had. I've only had, like, fucking participant trophies. Like, I, ha I ha like, as a kid, I did a lot of pay-to-play shit. So, like... What the fuck is pay-to-play? You know, like... It's not like where some schools, like, have free sports, so you have to, like, pay to do the sports. Uh, I think, I don't know. Yeah, it's ridiculous, but fucking, I paid $200 for this bowling league, right? It's me and this other kid, Chad, we're on the red shirts team versus the white shirts. Ooh, man, sweet, te sweet team names. Oh, dude, was yeah. Was it blue shirt teams? Yeah, it was totally, it was like a those, fucking... Those fucking it was, it was like some back alley twin star lanes that were, like, so fuck? bad. It was... It wasn't most, good, but most people don't know what Twins Lanes is. It was like I live here. it was like it's like a huge bowling alley fucking um, thing out here where it's like thing. It, it's a, basically a bunch of bowling alleys around here, and it's just. Is it like we got the yeah, shitty one? Yeah, we got we have the crappy one out here, and <laughs> out of like four people, I'm the one that got the participant trophy. It was not Aww. good. That that looks that makes me feel like shit. Yeah, you uh, should, because I haven't earned anything. Although, uh, for the Cub Scouts, I did win um, one thing. I won uh, the most intricate car for the Soapbox Derby. Oh, that's fucking awesome. That was, that's my life achievement right now, so... Okay, so, like, I uh, haven't won anything else. Uh, besides, like, the gymnastics trophies, no. I did do gymnastics, they're like, You did gymnastics? We do oh suck your Lord. own dick? Like, I've been asked Dude, that so many have, times. How, like, could you suck your own dick? Like, okay, now that's how, that, how do you stuff. fucking accomplish that? Like here, I'm gonna fucking like, like well, sure, sure. no, it's, we're talking about sucking our own dicks right now because I cut that no, out. Like, I cut everything out. You didn't like, fucking hear I shit, faggots. Can't, can't do shit. Like, Trent's, uh, Trent's trying to suck his own dick. Like, Trent, like, look at me. I just go. Oh my god, you can. That's fucking crazy. Like, <laughs> no, I didn't just no, because no, people are gonna hear like, this. No, now I didn't. No, now I, you get it, like, no, like people hearing this. No, you could do this. Like, shh, hold on. Like when you. Whenever you go to your girlfriends now, you can just be My like, exes, I don't have a girlfriend." Okay, shut up. Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's what I'm saying. Like, fucking. Okay, so here's what's up. So, like, just in case, like, I get a girlfriend. You could like do a test run with like the taste. Like, it's like. Oh, will this taste be, like, good for her, or, like... <laughs> like, I see if my dick tastes good, like, like let me check. Like, uh, the, the, it tastes like lemons. Is, is it a little sour? Like, more... <laughs> my dick's like, sour? Have, have you heard that... Look, my dick is sour, bitch, kid. Have, have you heard about this study where, like, your cum can taste different compared to the That's food actually cheese? very true. Like, pineapples. That's Apparently, true. it makes your cum taste like a fucking sea breeze. <laughs> Sea breeze. I've been like, to that. I've been to, I actually heard about that. You yes. know, you that's know, that's actually kind of true though. Is it? With my ex, uh, 
I had like a bunch of pizza like that. They stopped me like, well, that's because I had pizza yesterday. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking, like, the toppings you pick with your girlfriend are gonna be like what it tastes like later. It's like fucking throw up. Like, have you ever, like, <laughs> have you ever eaten, like, pasta and sauce and you, like, throw up later and you're like, oh, fuck, it tastes like really nasty pasta and sauce. Uh, this podcast is gonna sound like shit because our. <laughs> Look at these fucking waves. No, here's what I'm but saying. It's like, no, it's like. You could, like, taste it later. It's like, so, like, if you pick out anchovies, your girlfriend's gonna be like, what the fuck is this fish taste? Oh, sorry, that's my cum. <laughs> no, okay, m- next question. Fucking... Okay, fuck. Uh, shit. No, I, w- I want to keep talking about, like, my jizz tasting, like... No, shit. fuck, no. No, I want to talk about that. Oh, God, this is weird. No, I want to talk about, like, my cum taste. But, uh, uh, fuck. What do like, you think of in the future... They have this thing, like, where it's, like, they have these diets that's, like, make your cum taste like strawberries by eating this diet. I would fucking do it. Like, it's, I, like... Like, it wouldn't really be a diet unless it's just considered taking, making your semen taste better. Or they have, girl. like, a pill that... Or, like, some sort of, like, fucking thing you'd wrap around your dick and it's, like... A pill? Or, no, it's, like, an injection or something, maybe. Uh, uh, like, an injection? Well, yeah, like, like, put it in your... your uh. throat and then it makes you... It, like, reaches your cum glands or whatever. Oh, God! I, I'm not, cum I'm, glands? I'm not, I'm not a biologist, but... It, yeah, because they don't know what the fuck my cum glands are. Can you calm down? Here's what I'm saying. You just gotta... Shh, shh. Okay. Okay, so, so like, I, here, you see right here... Yeah, my urethra. Look, look down here. Okay. Yes, I see your This cock. right here will be the fucking cum glands. Nice cock. Or the testicles, as they call it. I'm pretty sure it's called a cum gland. <laughs> but... <laughs> um, okay. So what happens is they'll, like, put a syringe, like, in between the two... Or, like, maybe they could have it so you could have, like, two different flavors and just swap them out. Like, your right nut's, like, a fucking orange, and then <laughs> your left nut is California Dream. Oh, my God. That'd be that'd be pretty fucking cool. Dude. I'm not gonna lie. I would actually... If you were to get two flavors injected into your dick uh, to make your sperm taste good, uh, what flavors would they be? Fuck. For me, it'd have to be cherry and lemon. Cherry and lemon? No, because you could get... Acidity whenever you want. You don't want the acidity. What the fuck is the acidity? Yeah, you know how like your like comments like all is acidy. It's like fucking. No, when it comes to acid, I'm like no coming like, like lizard spit. No, I'm not saying like that. It's like acidic. Like on the pH scale, like you would fucking test like a seven out of out of one and nine, and that's fucking terrible. That's like fucking hydrochloric. <laughs> but like, what I mean, if I came inside a girl, like it burn her inside. Oh my god, that, don't even. But oh, okay, two flavors. Um, I, I fucking okay. Just two flavors for your cum. Blueberry or grape, and then um, on the oh, other side, I want like I don't want I want I want a fruity one, and then I want like like a, like a drink flavor, like maybe like orange cream soda. Or something, uh, or like root beer. I what think, if your cum tastes like root beer? Like I, you, you know, you know, I call my, you know, I call, I call my dear. Like at I, that point, I wouldn't be shy to like, like, uh, like, hey, my dick's a root beer float. Like <laughs> I wouldn't be throwing that shit away anymore. Like in tissues, dude, that shit would just. Dude, uh, you'd be, you'd eat your own cum if it may, tastes like root beer float. If it tastes like root beer float, maybe I don't know. I would get orange juice for one. Orange juice? Yeah, orange juice is the fucking bomb. That's still acidic. Why are you? What still- the fuck? What the? I don't know what the fuck. What is it with you and the? No, acidity? I mean just the flavor, not just, not just like I'm not injecting like full blown like orange juice into my dick. No, <laughs> I'm talking about the flavor. This Jesus is what, Christ. That's what I was saying. No, like a flavor. I had the jizz of flavor, like orange juice flavor, like sunny or something like that. You know what? I'd ask my wife when I marry her. I'll be like, I'll wait till then. I'll be like, honey. Wait, what, 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 What's your favorite flavors? You, what kind of cum do you want? She's like, well, <laughs> your fucking wife be weird, man. Like, I wish like it depends. Like, if a girl will fucking swallow. Why would? Yeah, I mean, it's like fucking. Because like, what they like, be weird. She's like licking it off her nipples. She's like, mm-hmm. like it's like a fl- it's like her taste are flavor savers now. Like, just like come on, man. Like, like might just get stale, so I could, dr- I could scrape it off and eat it in the morning. Why is it so like, sticky? Why the fuck does cum have to be so fucking sticky? It's I, ridiculous. When I cum, I do not cum at all. It's like fucking nothing. Only when it's inside. I cum loads. What the fuck? Are you serious? Yes. So there's no... I don't think How cold don't... is your hand? Like, okay, hold on. You have, like, total jerk-off hands. Do like, I? Like, they're so warm. Like, feel mine. They're like this all the time. They're I, I need to like jerk-off. No, it's like fucking... I don't know what it is. Maybe it's like... 
part of my diet or something, but like seriously, I'll have like a fucking Kleenex there ready to go. I'll <laughs> that fucking is not like me. I'll fucking like tap off the bell part a little bit, and like seriously, <laughs> the tissue like starts fucking ripping. I'm not even joking when I say this. Like some of it gets stuck, and I have to. Fucking oh, I've actually been there. And then but... I shower after, and I'm just like, fuck, it's it's goddamn paper. I, think, I like pull pieces out later. No, I'm, <laughs> pull jo- pieces. I'm joking. Like I'll make up some more paper in my urethra. I hope this podcast is like listenable because we're making like these fucking bars that go up his house. Let's oh, talk. No. About, let's talk. Okay. About, okay. Let's talk Next about. question. Uh, we're done with this. Loud. This is this is over. Yeah, but this like one more thing. No, one more thing to bring it up is uh, uh fuck. These are only four questions we got. We only got four questions because no one likes us. Uh, one thing is, like, I do not comment at all. It's just nothing. I just, I just like, uh, and there's nothing there. So it's basically no cleanup for me. I basically have the best way. That's, no. It's like, is, isn't it supposed to be good that you fucking, like... But the good thing is, like, I can just save it all up for if I want to get a bitch pregnant. Okay. Yeah, okay. Next question. Next question. Uh, by po- by Pokey Index, one of my nick- one of my nick nogs on iFunny, he says, if you were in a room with Kanye West, LeBron James, and Extermos, he's another iFunny user, who would you fuck, kill, and marry? You can't kill yourself, marry yourself, or fuck yourself. Well, I was gonna fuck myself in the general, but okay, I'm gonna kill you, Extermos. Fuck you. No, I'm kidding. Uh, fuck. Uh, I, I would I'd fuck LeBron James. You'd fuck LeBron James. I would fuck LeBron. He's got big, okay, like he's, he's got a nice when, big black. When cock. he says "fuck," does that mean like you're the pitcher or the catcher? I, I like the way you're thinking. I'm gonna say that you are the. Let's say let's say he goes both ways. <sighs> fuck! I don't want to be a switch hitter. Well, fucking I don't know what I don't know what Exermos's cock size is because these guys are black. I'm assuming that all black men have generous penises. Not all, but I'm like that's not racist. That's an, that's a compliment to you, black men. Well, they're all black, you. so we're all, we're fucked. Well, I don't know if Exermos is black. You just said if he was black. Okay, let's, let's, just, let's, just, let's, just, black. let's just assume everyone there is black. Let's assume that Kanye West is you black. You seriously just told me that Extremos is black. Did I? Let's. We're gonna make. You're like, oh, he's black, so he's got a pretty big dick. I was talking about LeBron. Oh well, yeah. I mean, LeBron James. We'll we'll see in the sex tape in a couple of years when he starts failing <laughs> in, in in the NBA when he when he stopped getting the rings. Oh shit, my phone fell. Okay. I keep moving the mic. Well, I really didn't stop automatically, that. I'm gonna fu- fucking uh, kill Kanye West. Oh shit. Yeah, I don't want Kanye West at all. Why not? I'm done, done with him. He's so ignorant, man. Like, I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to bother with him. Like, that, that's Pokey Nix. If I spend rapper. the rest of my life with someone, it would have to be LeBron James because I don't fucking know Extremos. And then, so you're just gonna fuck, uh, you're just gonna fuck Extremos? Yeah. Why not? It's, yeah, it's, Extremos, we'll fuck you. We'll kill LeBron. Kind of, we'll kill. I'm not gonna kill LeBron. I, I would marry LeBron. He, he'd make a good amount of money. Yeah, he's, he's got a nice exactly. house. I, I seen See, the I'd marry LeBron. He seems like a pretty cool guy, too. Yeah, and the commercials are pretty cool. That dude's Twitter's guy. like an open book. <laughs> an open book? Like, yeah, I, I came my weed today. Have you heard the reference that uh, in Far Cry 4, where they, like, actually mentioned Kanye West in his Twitter? Really? It's the funniest thing. Did they really? Yeah, he's like, hmm. Have you ever seen Twitter? Kanye's such a funny guy. I'm like, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Did you play Far Cry 3? I did not. You did not. I have never played Far Cry 3, Skyrim, any of your fucking games. Ask me a game and I've never played play it. I have not played a lot of games. Well, I actually haven't watched a lot of good movies. What, man? I have actually watched like a lot of like good things that people say like the best. Like, like I haven't seen Star Wars, The Hobbit, Lord of the Rings. You haven't seen Jurassic the, Park. Like the original three Star Wars. You haven't seen the original three. Not, not to my intention. Seriously, I can almost quote the entire movie. It's so <laughs> the entire bad. Entire movie. That's why I'm, I'm totally. Oh my god! You okay? I have not How seen any of the Back to the Futures. American Horror Story, TV show. No, you I haven't w- seen it. I want to watch it. It looks great, dude. It's awesome. Like they just put season three up on Netflix. Coven. It's oh like, shit! It's I'll like watch. about the Salem witches. Like later. Uh, is it based off like real events that happened? No, it's oh. it's fiction. It's totally fictional, but okay. it's so awesome. I'll totally watch it then. Oh my god, it's just the best. But um, oh fuck, what was I gonna say? I've watched all all the big shows on Netflix, like all of them. I watched. Uh, yeah, we watched uh, Breaking Bad. I haven't seen that. I've been meaning to watch it, but I'm just like, 
Yeah, I'm probably not gonna get around it's to a, it. It's a it's a good series. Like I've been told, it's a really good series. It's very climactic. Like if I was actually watching it on cable, I totally would have quit on it because it it just has so many cliffhangers at the end of every show. It's just like, oh, what's this? Oh, now you're gonna have to wait six episodes. I'm like, dude, seriously, I'm just not gonna fucking wait. I'm like the most impatient person with anything. Impatient person, but uh, Impa- whatever. That's what they're doing with like Walking Dead. Like they'll like release like eight episodes. And they'll be like, all right, we're glad you watched eight episodes. Now wait until fucking February. And the season finale was, like, last week. Dude, I can't... And they're saying, like, two weeks ago. And they're like, wait till February till we release new episodes. And I'm like, well, thanks for wasting my fucking time. Now what else am I going to do on my Sunday night? I'm not even going to start Walking Dead. Like, I'm just so sick of hearing it. Like, every day... I'll, oh, I'll like yeah. go, I'll like go into class and then all I hear is, "Did you see the new episode of Walking Dead?" I'm like, "No, I don't watch it." It's like, "Dude, the governor, uh, the, 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 the Carl, uh, it's uh, shut the fuck up. I don't care. <laughs> if I plan on watching it, why would you tell me? It's like, no, let me watch it for myself. I, I just hate people like that. It's like, I I never give spoilers unless you're like, "Dude, just tell me what it is." I'm like, "Are you sure you want to know? Are you sure?" Are you sure? Yeah, like, you gotta be dedicated to know, like, a fucking answer, like, yes or no. Just tell me right then, and then I'll be like, okay, so this is what happens. Exactly. Like, people that, like, I also hate, like, people, when people, like, uh, not people, like, people can like and not like The Walking Dead. It's a, it's a, it's a specific taste. But, like, um, it's It's not about me liking or not liking The Walking just, Dead. It's just about spoilers in general. Like, I can't uh, watch it, because I already know, like, all the big things that happens. It just ruins the show. It's like... Seriously, what's the point of watching it if you already know what's going to happen to all the characters? It's like, I'm pretty much with the story that's being told. We already know they're all dead because there's too many people in society that are going to die. Oh, yeah. Just watch it. They'll fight, they'll end it within six seasons, six more seasons, and they're gone. Okay, okay. One more thing I want to add to that is like people can like people can not or like it or not. It just doesn't really matter. But I think people are like it's the worst fucking thing in the world. Like no, it's not. It's actually decent to like in some people's eyes. But if you want to say it's the worst thing in the world, fine. You don't just gotta say it's the fucking worst thing. Even though like you probably just haven't seen it. I think people just judge something like right off the bat. Like people just like this thing is the worst because they fucking say it is, and I haven't seen it or touched it or fucking know what it's about. I totally do that on Netflix. Like, you if cock no, picture. it's if if it's like the cover photo just looks so unappealing. It's like, oh god, I like, really, like hooking up. I really don't want to watch that. Yeah, like there's this thing on Netflix called hooking up, it, and, and my ex like sub, like liked it or made her one of her fucking favorites. I don't know what it was. But it was on it, her queue. And it was her. It was the worst fucking movie. Oh my god, it was so bad. And just, it's like the cover wasn't even good. It was like a girl taking her panties off, and it didn't. It, and it, it, was, it intrigued me. I'm like, oh okay, what's this? Is? No, it just, it was so unappealing to watch. I'm like, hmm, I just want to watch something nice that I can go to bed to. Oh, hooking up. No, it's like, no, I don't want to see this. You know what? You know what my favorite movie is though. Mm-hmm. Honestly, Wally. Wally, seriously? I fucking love Wally. Cause actually, I can kind of see how we're gonna live in the world like Wally, but we're not gonna fit the entire fucking race. Yeah, there's some overextensions here and there, but yeah, our world being considered trash. Like, I could take it to like, but the people, I take it with a grain of salt, cause I actually really like that fucking movie. But people like, you're like, fucking bad taste of Disney. I was like, dude, no, it's actually really good. I hate when people like, uh, I'm gonna get back on track here with fucking. But what I was gonna say before was about the zombie thing with AMC and fucking Walking Dead and shit, is that, like, why have people become assholes in, the, in like, the zombie apocalypse? Why are people like, all right, everyone's dead. Now I can go fucking rogue. But, like, why would you want to fucking do that? We're all going to die. Why not try and survive instead of being a fucking huge asshole and wanting to shoot Dude, people? if you're already dead, like, I could totally see the mentality. They're like, well, may as well live on this dead earth while I can. It's like... You Cause basi- they know. They basically, that's like how they take out their emotions. I'm no psychologist, but they're probably all very, very scared, and they just want to ride motorcycles and rape women to, to What the fuck? Okay, to you made a big leap there. They're just, they're big just. Big fucking leap of riding motorcycles and sticking just, in a woman's ass no, forcefully. No, they're just, they're just compensating for their lost fathers and mothers. <laughs> they're like, oh, fuck, I, I don't have a mom anymore, but <laughs> better, go, better go fuck a little girl in the closet. Oh my god. No, no one, no, Tyrant, no. No one's like, oh man, my, I, my, my mom's dead. Oh, well, time to fuck little girls. No. Never! Okay. Uh, Speaking of TV shows I really wanted to get into, I kind of want to get into Game of Thrones. 
I have been curious about that. I'm. I think. But I've I think, been told just by just by watching some South Park episodes, like they kept saying, like, "The dragons are coming. Don't worry." And next thing you know, there's no fucking dragons for a while. So I'm like, "Oh, okay." Well, well, what the fuck ever? See, you you just totally contradicted yourself. You're like listening to other people say about different shows. And you're like, oh, don't listen to what other people say. Oh, fuck, I did. Well, that was actually just an episode of something like, uh... But, it, this is like an interesting series to get into, but I don't know what it's about. I'm pretty sure it's about, like, lords fucking other lords. I don't know, it just... Lords fucking other lords, like, yeah, hey, Zeus and Sadie's getting hot sweaty. I do kind of want to see, though, like, I hear all the time that, like, all the characters die, like, so often. I'm like, like what, I kind of want to see it for myself, because it sounds, like, very individual. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I, uh... I, I don't usually find, <laughs> I don't usually find very many shows that are out there, like, there's this one show on, ne on, uh, Netflix, I know a fucking, I'm a Netflix whore, I've been yeah, refer course, course it referencing it, that's, like, my only source of television. My Nice. <laughs> um, oh, Portlandia. That's like so. That, that's just it, weird. It, it totally is, but it's so funny and like what they do. It's like such dry comedy, but it's like. Like, uh, it's always sunny. I, yeah. Yeah, it's like that. But always sunny, I actually can like. It's very, like, there's very, like, I like shows that have, like, a very specific taste and then I like it. Danny DeVito is so funny and. Uh, it's always sunny. Oh, he's fucking genius. Dude, my favorite episode was when he, like, got with that woman and, and he, like, got the food fetish. What the fuck? Did you not watch that? It's I like, have not seen that. It's like season three. Oh, shit. We should probably watch them after this. Yeah, probably. Okay. I don't know. But, no, like, one thing is, like, my, I think my favorite thing from, like, Danny DeVito was he was, like, in fucking therapy. When they were all in therapy, he's like, I remember this girl. She was so beautiful. Had the most beautiful smile. Because she had no lips. And I'm like, what the fuck? And she's like, she had the smile of an angel, and then she fucking died. Oh, God, I, all the memories coming back. The man unzipped me. And fucking my buddy in school now, Ralph, he's just going around school, like, saying, she unzipped me. He unzipped me. He's just fucking saying that. I think it was pretty funny. Fuck you. Okay, next question. Next question is... Next question, go. Butt plug. Question mark. Uh, no, wait, no, wait, that wasn't the next one. That was the next one, was it? Yes. Oh, yeah, oh, no. That, yes. No, that, that could, no, that, no. Butt plug, yeah, question okay. mark. Okay, next qu other question was, uh, butt plug? Um, would you stick a butt plug in your ass? Uh, I, I think I would, I don't know. Depends on the size of this. No. It depends if I'm being paid. I would have to be, like, so fucking dumb with, like, regular shit. Wait, like can't be punk in Minda? No, I can't. I can't go shat on it. No. We love shat. Okay. Pro probably um, not. Depends. How much your angle beads would count? <laughs> Quit playing your fucking phone. I'm kidding. You're making me nervous. <laughs> I, I'm fucking kidding. I'm not meeting any of this shit. This this whole fucking podcast has been a lie. Sure. Uh, in reality. What color beads would you get? Red. Red and fair color. Fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. I had a picture in my mind that you would own a, some red anal beads. I can't believe that you said the color red. That just totally... But here's the thing about having red anal beads. You couldn't know if they are covered in blood or not. You would know if it's covered in shit. Touche. Next question. Uh, okay. Fuck me bum? Yes. Uh, okay. That's all the questions we have. Uh, subscribe to Trentacular iFunny. Um, you're fucking worthless. Okay, so, you, you know the drill. And the fuck off, bye.